Well, creating the best version of yourself, your children, and your family. That's the approach behind the Castle Method. Author and Dr. Phil's resident parenting expert, Donna Tetro, is here to explain. Welcome. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me, Amy. So let's talk about this whole Castle Method. Yeah. Easy for me to say today. Castle Method. Explain to us what it really is and what it means. Yeah, it's an acronym used as a metaphor mm -hmm. to build the castle, the family of your dreams. Mm. Not the perfect family, mm -hmm. but the best version of your unique family. And I came up with these foundational building blocks, mm -hmm. compassion, acceptance, security, trust, love, expectations, and education. And okay. this is what's going to help build this family, not just the children, mm -hmm. but the parents as well. Exactly. And that's yeah. what I wanted to ask you about. I mean, you, you talk a lot about the compassion, and that's a big part of it, but the compassion's not just for the kids, but for the parents. Absolutely. We are bombarded, right? Mm -hmm. Social media, school shootings, yes. all that's going on. Mm -hmm. We need to have compassion for ourselves as parents, doing mm -hmm. the best that we can. And when we learn self-compassion, mm -hmm. we can model that for our kids. Because mm -hmm. it can, it can be, you and I are both mothers of yeah. two sons, very yeah. close in age, and it can be, you know, there are times you're, you're questioning, am I doing it? right am i am i being the best mom i can be and and sometimes you know you get a little anxious about if you're doing it right you know and we all fall short mm -hmm. and that's the thing is that when i was researching this i literally have been doing this parenting journalism for about 10 years now and mm -hmm. i talked to hundreds of experts in child development psychologists mm -hmm. educators and i came up with this method because it really is to help the entire family, not mm -hmm. just to kind of fix our kids, mm -hmm. but as parents, we can reparent ourselves if we miss something in our childhood, mm -hmm. so then be the best version of ourselves as parents. And that's something really different because so often we hear like what we should do for our, for our children, but we don't often hear like what we should be doing. I mean, it's usually a book for parenting or it's a book about helping your children, but it's rarely the combination. Well, exactly, and that's what I wanted to do because I think that all of us go into parenting, we don't know anything, <laughs> <laughs> right? Trial by error, <laughs> right, I guess, right? right? And so we're just trying to kind of figure it out and piece it together, mm -hmm. but when we can have compassion for ourselves, mm -hmm. acceptance for ourselves, mm -hmm. and provide the security for our family and mm -hmm. for ourselves, knowing that we're doing the best we yeah. can, mm -hmm. and we're gonna fail yes. and it's okay, mm -hmm. but our kids are gonna see that and that we're gonna be resilient too in our mm -hmm. parenting. Let's talk a little more about expectations and there are helpful and harmful expectations. Absolutely, and interestingly with academic achievement pressure, mm -hmm. such an you know, part of our children's lives yeah. growing up. Colleges, kids mm -hmm. are getting into college now. It's yeah. almost impossible to. So what we want to do is we want to have expectations that our children are going through the process and not worrying mm -hmm. about the result. We're too focused on the result. Just enjoying the process, mm -hmm. having the expectation that we're going to be doing our best mm -hmm. as children, family, and together as mm -hmm. parents. So just these proper expectations that can help us build this family. Yeah, and, and I feel like there's so many extra pressures. I mean, you and I both, mothers of sons who are, uh, who are doing a lot of athletics yeah. along with the <laughs> academics. And, right, and right. so we have all these different, um, I guess, pressures that they're dealing with, that we're also trying to help them navigate, it can be really tricky. Absolutely, and I think that that's so important. Whether it's sports, mm -hmm. drama, whatever it might be, mm -hmm. it needs to be intrinsic to the child. Mm -hmm. We cannot push this on yes. our children and, and, and put these expectations out for them. It needs to be inside, intrinsic, and to find that joy. Yeah. When they find that joy, they're gonna do what they want. Well. I love that. Thank you so much, Donna. <laughs> Thank you. And of course, you can find out more information about Donna Tetro and the Castle Method by going to our website, kkl9.com, and clicking Scene on TV.